Sagittarius, and thanks for tuning in for the March of 2020 Tarot Scope with Animal Totem video. I'm Vicki Burley. I'm a psychic astrologer with over 30 years experience. Uh, I do psychic astrology, psychic tarot, and I create psychic art and decks. Today we're going to be using one of those decks, the Rock and Roll Tarot deck. We will be using for the main portion of the reading. Then we're going to follow it up with another deck that I've created, the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle Cards. And if you are a level 2 Patreon supporter, I also do a um, additional card. This time it's going to be the Mystical Wisdom card by uh, Gay Guthrie and Josephine Wall. So let's go ahead and start the shuffling up for your March of 2020 reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, and Sagittarius Moon. Um, if it does not resonate with you, check your Rising and Moon. Um, some people say they checked the previous month or the previous year. If that's something you feel like doing, then, then maybe you can get something out of that too. You know, it's all up there. Um, this is a big month of shifting energy for everybody because it's the uh, Aries ingress. And whenever we have a cardinal ingress, which would include the Aries ingress, which is happening this month, there's always a um, <laughs> there's always a shift in energy. It's a change of seasons. But I was hearing when I said there's always, I heard, there's always tomorrow for dreams to come true. <laughs> That's a Christmas song. Um, so... But maybe that, that could be a thing for some people out there. Boy, this Empress card has been showing up. Well, you know, spring, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's spring, you know, and in the spring is when nature's, you know, we all, they all get out and start uh, making babies. So, and maybe that would be a case with humans too. <laughs> Let's start up at the top. Three of Pentacles is the very first card out. So this is looking at, somebody's looking over your work. It can be going back to school. But I'm not feeling that very strongly. I feel like somebody's were looking at your work and they're considering um, your work. We should, you should be putting your stuff out there, Sag, is what the message that I'm getting. Um, put it out where anybody can see it. You know, like if you have a portfolio or put your resume on LinkedIn or wherever you put it. You need to put your stuff in a public place where anybody can see it. Because whoever's going to notice you, for in the most cases, it looks like it's not going to be through your own the old way of doing things through traditional means. So if you're sending out like um, links to your portfolio or links to your um, uh, you know your uh, resume or whatever, if you're sending it out one by one to d individual companies or something that you're trying to get a job through or, or want that you want these individual p people to see it. That's not the way to go. You need to, because it's not going to be, it may not be anything that you're, you've thought of or that you've ever been connected with before, for sure. So, in order to broaden your horizons, which is a big thing, that's a good thing with us, uh, broaden your horizons. With Sagittarius, that's like, could be your key to life, broadening your horizons. Um, you got to open it up to the whole world here. And the world is a huge opportunity that could be showing up for you. I mean, just really huge. Bigger than you thought. Maybe you're thinking, well, I want to get in this company. I want to do this thing. Whatever's being uh, offered or whatever's, um, it could be bigger than you, you even thought. Much bigger. Um, a load is lifted off your back around this moon energy. Now, the moon, whenever the moon comes up, we're going to look at those moons. Now, we're going to have a new moon. Uh, and that's going to be on the 24th in the sign of Aries. And that's a nice vibration for you. That's a trine because Aries is also a fire sign. And then we'll, uh, there's also going to be a full moon on March 9th in the sign of Virgo. That is not so harmonious with you. That would be a square which could cause, sometimes cause... Um, Friction, conflict, and things like that. But it's saying around those times, so it could be either one of those, some kind of a load is lifted off your back and you're feeling a lot better. Things are going to really start moving then. Whatever's been stalled is going to start moving. And it's also telling you that you need to start moving. I'm feeling pretty strong that it's that new moon around the 24th there. That's telling you it's time to get moving. It's time to take action. It's time to go forward. You might even be traveling. When you have both of these cards together, this could be like you're traveling. This could be like you're traveling, you're moving forward. 
um, taken an actual trip. You are traveling, you are moving forward energetically, and there's that moon card, that moon symbol again. You got the moon there and the moon there. So I feel pretty strong about that new moon on the 24th. I think it's going to be really positive for a lot of you. If you're trying to conceive or trying to get pregnant or know somebody who is, that could be the time. Or that could even be the time that they would give birth if they're already, um, you know, pregnant, if they're already um, in that stage. Um, move past and move past your pain. You do have the Ten of Swords in reverse here. We're not just going to brush right over that. The Ten of Swords is not a great card, especially this way. It's a guy laying there with the Ten of Swords in his back. But in reverse, it's like it's not insurmountable. It's not, in this way, it's like he can't get up. He's, he's done. He's down for the count, man. He's done. In this way, it's a little bit um, brighter now, they're saying. It's a little bit brighter now. And um, you can move past that. You can move past the pain. You can't avoid it, though. It's, it's, it's like this, it's here. Or, or, you know, sometimes it can just be like it's going to be painful to move on. You might have to, you know, hurt some people along the way. Or it could be some, some painful de uh, departures is what I'm hearing. Painful departures. But it's the cycle of life. And that's the message of the springtime, too, you know, in the Northern Hemisphere. There's, nobody's dying, necessarily, but things are let go and then new things begin. You give birth to new things. And in the spring, that is totally, you know, the, the, the vibe, man. You, you know, we're doing, we're giving birth to new things in this springtime energy. Okay, let me shuffle up on, for your, start shuffling up for the Animal Totem card for Sagittarius Friends. Don't forget, if you want that ingress reading I, I, and see how it will specifically apply to you, you can find that on my website as long, along with all sorts of other, um, all sorts of other things, decks, books, readings, and art and everything. I was looking down at this said results, so I think you're going to see results, and I, it said, re, I thought it said recruit. So some of you, you might be recruiting other people to help you, or you could, might be, um, going and seeing a recruiter, like a headhunter type of person. By the way, let that happen. That's what's cool about this deck. When you see those words, like it says results, but I thought it said recruit. That's the way, if, if, if these words, if you're drawn to specific, specific words, or if you see, um, you know, you see these words kind of popping out and changing and stuff, then that's how you can get a message that's just for you. Okay, sorry, I was kind of, I'm trying to do this part, shuffle the cards and uh, talk at the same time. But we're doing a shuffle up for our Sag friend, for the Animal Totem, for March. The Raven is news too. The Ravens are magical birds, but they also are the messengers. Okay, Magic, myth, legend, and lore. The raven is calling you to awaken to the mystery and enchantment. It's time to shapeshift your life into what you want it to be. That's powerful. Yeah, shapeshifting your life into what you want it to be, for sure. And, you know, through transformation, I'm, I'm hearing uh, Led Zeppelin, upon us all, you know, a little rain must fall. What is that? This is the darkness of my wind. Da -da -da. A little rain must fall. Wah, wah. This is the misty quotient. I, I don't know if anybody knows. It's, uh, it's a Zeppelin tune. Uh, uh, I don't want to do too much of it anyway because I get in trouble. <laughs> Copyright infringement. But yeah. Um, Upon us all, a little rain must fall. That's that's part of it. There's contrast. We live in a contrasting um, dual world of duality. We only know happiness if we, you know, we, how do we know if we're happy if, unless we've been sad? You know, there's cycles, ups and downs, and the spring and everything is a new. It's a new cycle coming through. All right. So this is the reading. If anybody knows that um, Led Zeppelin, leave it in the comments. I, I'm not going to look it up right now because there could be some additional messages in that lyric often there are but um i think we kind of got it here it's going to be a new moon a new ingress it's a new time for you uh it's time we're giving birth 
we're moving forward. Okay, and the world is here. Put it out in the world. Don't try to do it on a one-by-one one basis. Put it out there. Okay, so um, thank you so much for tuning in and purchasing my wares and everything else that you do to help me at my channel along the way and have helped my channel through the years. Um, please do visit my website and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, remember that you are love and beauty incarnate and have a great month of March and a great equinox ingress. <laughs> and uh, we'll speak to you soon. If you're a level 2 Patreon person, there's going to be one more card coming out for you, so you can find the link back at Patreon. So thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Have a great one.